I've been looking for a worthy adversary. Someone I can lock horns with. Because though my life makes more sense when I'm alone, it's not nearly as interesting. Alone, it's not nearly as interesting. So I look for a worthy adversary. Someone I can battle to the death with. Because it can't be about love, you see. Love can't exist on the terms I demand. It's never that pure. What I demand is never that pure. As I'm looking for a worthy adversary, I slither up to you like a snake, and I tempt you with a golden apple. I tempt you with a golden apple, but all I was offering you was fruit from the tree of knowledge. This snake gives you the tree of knowledge because all this time I've been playing a part, an actress on a stage, spotting the lines on cue. But that role was tiresome. Those lights came on night after night, and I still had to play my part. I played my part until my night off, where I saw your show. Your protagonist was doing what I was doing, right down to faking it with those who don't matter, right down to going home and still feeling empty. I played my part. I still feel empty. But I like to see your boiling underneath, no one else could see. I know what that emotion really means. When I know what that emotion really means, I wonder if we could get together and write our own play. If we wrote our own play, it would be a masterful performance. Curtains would close, we'd hold each other's hands and leave the stage, and the audience would know. There's a happy ending. When I know there's a happy ending, I walk out onto the set, and there you stand in front, stage left. I wait for my cue to make my move. None of the rest of the scene matters. If the rest of the scene doesn't really matter, I wonder if the audience would see what we have. Maybe they'd like our little play. Maybe they wouldn't. Who really cares? Who really cares? Because after I tempted you, you now tempt me and tease me and torment me and tell me everything I was afraid to believe. I was afraid to believe. And now you talk and reach your hand into my brain and pull out my thoughts and shove them into your mouth and spit them back at me. You spit my thoughts back at me again, and instead of filling me with terror, it fills me with joy. It fills me with joy because I thought I'd lock horns with that worthy adversary, but no. Every day is like Valentine's Day. It's like candy and flowers and springtime and hearts and keywords and sunshine. And those cliches are beginning to make sense. No longer locking horns and everything making sense. I stand here like a statue after the performance of our lifetime and wait for the reviews. As I wait for the reviews, I wonder what they'll say, though none of it matters. None of it matters because I know what you are going to say. It's everything that I've always wanted to say. All I've wanted to say is now you taking my thoughts again and shoving them into your mouth again and spitting them back at me again. So I will wait for you to come on stage again where we have our happy ending and you tell me what I already know. I'm like, I tried to do that to you, like, the rhythmic thing and change the verses and everything. So, I mean, it's it's not really a, it's not really an extreme to see the variation, but it's an extreme something. That's <laughs> great. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I did that in honor of you, my love, and in honor of...